Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 2005 problem number one. We wish to find all non-negative integers n such that 2 to the power of n plus 105 is a perfect square. It's a rather standard problem, here is my hint. Uh, consider reduction modulo 3 to find the parity of n and then write that our number equals k square, for example, and try to do the factorization on one of 105. So give this problem a try. All right, so let's see. Let's consider 2 to the power of n plus 105. Notice that this is congruent to minus 1 to the power of n, and 105 is congruent to 0 modulo 3. So this is either congruent to 1 or to minus 1. 1 if n is even, and minus 1 if n is odd. And we are talking about, of course, reduction modulo 3. But notice that minus 1 is a quadratic non-residue is a quadratic non-residue modulo 3 so, so since we wish to have a perfect square we know that n must be even n must be even all right so let's write now 2 to the power of n plus 105 equals k squared where let's suppose that k is a positive integer and let's solve it notice that we can write it in the following way 105 or maybe even let's put it right, right let's write it right, like that k squared minus 2 to the power n over 2 squared equals 105 now, on the left-hand side, we can do the standard factorization. And on the right-hand side, 105 is 3 times 5 times 7. And now we have only four options. What's the fact? And notice that, of course, this number is positive. This number, well, since the product is positive, this number also must be positive. And moreover, this parenthesis, first parenthesis, is less than the second parenthesis. So because of all of that, we have the following options. k minus n to the power n over 2 equals 1, and k plus 2 to the power n over 2 equals 105, it's one possibility, or k minus 2 to the power n over 2 equals 3, and k plus this equals 21, or k minus 2 to the power n over 2 equals 5, and the second number equals 21, or the last possibility, I wish to fit it in one line, so I will make it slightly smaller, or the last possibility is that k minus 2 to the power n over 2 equals 7, and k plus 2 to the power n over 2 equals, equals, if this is 7, equals 15. All right. And now let's solve all of these equations. Uh, after subtracting, so first, for, for, first, <laughs> in the first case, it turns out that after subtracting these two equations, 2 to the power n over 2 equals 106 over 2, so it's 53. And of course, here we have no solutions. In the second case, if we subtract, if we subtract, we will have 21 minus 3. 21 minus 3 is 18. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Not, not 21, sorry about that, but 35. All right, now... 35 minus 3 is 32, 32 over 2 is 16, so 
in this case we get n equals uh, n over 2 equals 4 so n equals 8 next 2 to the power n over 2 equals 21 minus 5 is 16 16 over 2 is 8 so n equals 6 or the last case 2 to the power n over 2 equals 8 uh, sorry not 8 but 4 so n equals 4 and in every case of course we can find k as well so in the first case if n equals 8 then k equals uh, 3 plus 16 it's 19 in the second case if n equals 6 so we have 8 so k equals 13 and in the last case if n equals 4 then we have 11 i believe if i'm not mistaken let me check that uh, 7 plus 4 is 11 yes yes everything is all right i believe yes it is so all in all we have exactly three solutions n is either 4 6 or 8 and this closes our problem so thank you very much for watching i will i will see you next time goodbye